very good. Welcome to another Donkey Kong Genius video. Today we're going to look at uh, the crit on the bat in stage one of NES Castlevania. Uh, those uh, interested in exactly why the crit occurs, uh, you can look at a, another video for that. In this video, uh, this is for advanced gameplay, and we're going to examine the different approaches to the bat. Uh, for most people playing the game, uh, you're going to want to use the clunk method. Now, the clunk method is really only 16 frames slower than what you would see in a, a typical world record attempt. So there's only a difference between uh, of, there's only a difference of 16 frames between uh, trying to go for the fastest strats possible and going for the clunk. So 16 frames isn't a lot. It's less than a half a second. So we're going to first take a look at the clunk. Go ahead and play that for you here. With the clunk, uh, you're just going to drop down. And in this case, we go up to the third step, wait for the bat to uh, drop, and then go up to the, f to the top. So once again, we just walk right off. We do nothing but just walk up to that third and go. Very simple, very easy. Now that's uh, what you would want to do if you're just learning the game. The reason being is because there's a risk involved in whipping before you land. When you jump off and you whip in the air, the very first possible frame of when you can whip without landing in the ground and actually seeing the crouch animation is 20 frames slower than the fastest. So what that means is, is that even if you go for a strat to whip in the air and you get the very first available frame, you will end up being four, slant, four frames slower than if you were to have just gone for the clunk. This is also true of uh, the fourth and fifth frames. Uh, the, uh, you will lose four frames over the clunk if you do your whip and put on the fourth frame. If you do it on the fifth frame, you end up losing eight over just using the clunk. The only way to benefit from using this strategy that I'm going to show you, and I will make sure that I show you each of the first five possible frames for you to whip and not get the uh, crouch animation, because you're going to want to back up. If for some reason you don't land frame two or three, you are going to want to have a backup so that you can continue your run. So basically, by using the whip method, you have a two frame window. And depending on which of those two frames you hit, the manipulation you need to do on the bat is going to be different. What this means is, is that you need to be able to identify how many frames the screen stops scrolling for. Let me show you our first video of the very first frame. What this means, in this case, there's actually only one frame that is lost. That is, that if you were to slow this down frame by frame, the screen stops scrolling for one frame. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. It almost looks like there's no frame loss at all. But in this case, you're going to use the whip buffer, go to the third, and then go up to the, to the fourth. Now let's take a look at the uh, first frame again. If you watch really closely, and you may not even be able to see it. So any time that you're executing the whip and it looks like there's no 
scrolling whatsoever or no delay you can assume that it's a uh, one frame loss and do your whip the second frame is going to look very for very much close to this and it's really hard to watch or be able to recognize from this video but if you get the second frame you have to walk all the way up to the fourth step in this instance if you get this frame you just go straight up to the fourth now if you had gotten uh, a one frame loss or a three frame loss then if you went up to the fourth frame and the fourth step on either of those two frames the bat would go to the left so you can actually identify what frame you're on afterward if you think it's a two because you seemed you, you saw enough of a delay for it not to be a one then you know oh okay that was a three so that helps to reinforce that you got a, th a three so if the bat moves to the left and it doesn't look like there's that much of a delay that it was probably a one and then once again you know what that looks like but if you whip on the second frame and you go up to the fourth he won't go to the left he'll come straight down for you the third frame like the second is the fastest it's 16 frames faster than the clone and in this case we don't do any buffering at all we just whip we just walk delay in the third minute by walking up to the fourth and there you go so you're going to want frame two and frame three so let's take a look at frame four this is going to be a little bit more delayed than a three we're going to do a whip we're going to walk up to the top and then do the crit but you probably wouldn't want to assume there's a four unless it looked like a long delay on your landing but it's going to require a a whip and then walk up to the top and then the fifth frame just in case you're you're ever that late and it just looks like an eternity you can just whip and you are good all right so we're going to look at these again so once again for the clunk we're just going to walk from going up to the third and then go up if we get the uh, first frame we're going to whip and do the exact same thing if we get frame number two we're going to go straight up to the top if we get frame number three we are just going to walk frame number four we're going to whip and then go up to the top and if we happen to be super light we will just initiate a whip and have at it so those are the different variations and what the different uh, manipulations are so let's turn our attention for a moment to the real console now I haven't done this in a very long time Although I did spend just a couple minutes here trying to refresh. And that is, we're going to see how you can kind of tell. It's always easier looking at your CRT, your, your, your television set. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just pull it up the safe state here. And uh, we're going to try to guess what we got that looked like a really super long delay uh, I'm gonna guess that it's a, that it's a five it was not a five
probably a four then. But you're going to want to see, I'm going to guess four. Uh, you're going to want to uh, create a save state. Oops, I was supposed to go up to the top, so that's not going to work. And just do this over and over again. That kind of felt like a three, so I'll try it out. Eventually you'll get really good at being able to identify which frame that was not a three. I'm going to try a three again. I have a piece of paper here in front of me. Yep, that was a three. I'm going to guess that's a two. It was a two. Yeah, it felt like a three. It could have been a four, but you got to commit. Yep, it was a three. That looked really fast. I'm going to throw in a whip here and uh, hope that was a one. It was not. That was a two. Looked really fast, but I'm going to assume that it's a two for wrong. There we go. Very nice. That was a two. And that's either a one or a two. We're going to go for two again. And it wasn't. See, he went to the left. That means that was a one. I'll say that is a three. It was not. That was a two. I'm going to say this was a two. It was not. That was a one. I'm going to say that's a one. That looked like a very smooth transition. And we forgot to do the whip. That felt like a two. So I'm just going to go straight up to the top. That felt like a two. It was. That felt like a three, possibly it would possibly a four, but we're gonna go for a three. It was. Uh, as you can see, um, you will not be one hundred percent. I'm gonna say that was a two. And there you go. Uh, after a while, you just get super, super good at what frame that you uh, whipped at. And you just keep your little chart next to you on what manipulation you need to do for which frame loss. And uh, uh, hope you'll be aiming for a two or a three. Uh, but really, um, over time, you'll be able to aim, aim for that and get better results. But you have these backups just in case because at this point you've already done you know the, the frame perfect clock and everything so i hope you find that helpful i'll uh, have this information down in the description of, of the video as well all right so we're all done with that tutorial